Hey, it's Preston and Steve from WMMR. And this is another great presentation from our friends at Janus Productions. So please sit back and enjoy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special broadcast. I'm Pierre, and you are listening to 93.3 WMMR here in Philadelphia. Ladies and gentlemen, from the heart of soul country here in South Philly, we are sending this performance out through Pennsylvania, Delaware, and of course, the great garden state of New Jersey. Not to mention, via WMMR.com, the entire United States of America, indeed, the entire planet Earth are hearing us now. How about that? And so, my friends, with that in mind, will you please welcome home to Philadelphia, live on WMMR, Bon Jovi! Jovi on 93.3 WMMR. Pierre Robert here as we uh, hang out with the boys on stage and time for a couple little questions. Uh, first of all, John, you guys are just about a month into this tour. Uh, as I read it, there are 135 shows, 30 countries. It's going to last two years. At this point in a very successful career, why do you want to go on such a long tour? You certainly don't have to. Well, he's divorced. He's divorced. <laughs> no. I'm on a future search. I'm on a worldwide search for my future ex-wife. So says Richie Sambora. And John has said, it's a big world and we still make house calls, which I like as a doctor. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're, we're 25 shows into the tour so far and uh, probably another 100 and some to go. But, um, you know, we're having fun. And as long as we're having fun, we're going to keep doing it. And as long as we're making number one albums, you know, then people want to hear and we're going to go out and perform them. So. Well, the last tour, the Lost Highway tour was seen, and I have a little stat on this, by 2,157,675 people. 2,157,675 people saw the Lost Highway tour. It was the highest grossing tour of 2008. When you put together something uh, of this magnitude, is that something that's in the back of your mind? Do you want to top yourself? Do you want to compete with the other big bands, the Stones, no, the Who? No, no, no. Remember now, we did Lost Highway as an experiment. And then we opened up uh, the arena in Newark uh, called the Prudential Center for 10 nights. And that was going to be the end of it. And because we had so much fun doing it, we decided, okay, well, no one's looking, so let's go across Canada. <laughs> and that's, that's truly what happened. So now we're at 21 shows, and then I look to Paul and I go, build the stage, let's go. <laughs> and so we went, and you know, who knew? Because, you know, our fan base thought, oh Lord, he's finally snapped, he's down in Nashville now, and they're gonna do these, you know, country influence kind of records. But that wasn't the case, and we went down, and Richie and I went down, and you know, it was a great experiment. And who knew, but it was the biggest tour in the world, bar none, not, you know, it wasn't 
the Stones, it wasn't Madonna. Who else was that? The, the police reunion, it wasn't Springsteen, it was us. We were the number one tour in the world. Uh, well, I want to ask you about this because on this record, it kind of had a similar genesis uh, too in that um, The Circle, the latest record, was actually only supposed to be a couple of songs added to a Greatest Hits album. And then it went so well, you just said, well, let's keep going. We have issues. <laughs> <laughs> Committing issues, you know, committal issues. Well, and Richie said, in fact, on this, Richie, you said you described the writing sessions as really easy, prolific, and probably the most fun we've ever had creatively. What made these conditions such that that was the case? Uh, you know what? I mean, John and I just hit a nerve, and then there was a lot of things that were going on in the world uh, all around us, and it gave us great fodder for the lyrical content and also, the, you know, the stuff that we were feeling as, uh, you know, as we were growing up and stuff like that. You know, we're adults now, so it's a whole different kind of the way we look at writing at this point. Cool. We are here at the Wachovia Center with the uh, great band known as Bon Jovi. Could we get you to do a few more songs? My favorite moment was listening to him talk about his soul foundation. He puts so much time and effort energy into the city. He really, really is a wonderful man. That's why we enjoy him so much. Oh, um, lost my yeah, voice. Yeah, it was so awesome. awesome. You've been to 73? Yeah. Oh, great day in the morning. <laughs> Are you a Bon Jovi fan? Yes, I am, since I was about 15. It's not all girls, is it? No, it isn't. All right. <laughs> I took my kids last night. Me and my wife were here. We're going tonight. Bon Jovi rules. It was great. I screamed at work when I got it, and I started to cry. So oh, I'm oh, I'm getting a hug. What's your name? Stephanie from Delaware. Stephanie, thank you for coming thank up. You, thank you. I mean, you're so young, but yet you're so old. I'm not old. I am nine. 109? Nine. How did you like the show? Good. Won the tickets from WMMR, and this is my wife, by the way, Hi. brought Hi. her down today. But more importantly, that John Bon Jovi did this, and we were lucky enough to be just two of maybe four to 500 people in the room. That's what makes the performance, and he was fantastic today. It's very special. Very classy. And he, I'll give you, let you in on a little secret. He's only going to do about five or six songs, and he ended up doing eight or nine. That's fantastic. Uh, uh, He's a true class act. We're very happy to have him here from our local area. Amazing, thank you so much for putting this all together. Been a diehard fan of Bon Jovi and the soul. Cool. <laughs> very, very, very cool. Awesome. I don't know, <laughs> but I got on the list today, so I just Excellent. wanted to say thank you. It was You're fabulous. Very welcome. Cool. Thank you. It was just a once in a lifetime opportunity and I can't thank MMR or the band enough for that. I'm a, I am the Bon Jovi fan and that was just a once in a lifetime treat for me. Are you a fan? Of course, but she's a bigger fan. So, I'm a bigger fan. Have you ever been that close? Never in my life. It was awesome to see how the rest of the world lives. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, my good citizen friends. We have concluded a very special broadcast here at the Big Joint with Bon Jovi. We can't thank them enough. Hello, citizen. And uh, we have another concert ready to start, three MMR concert events. But the coolest one, I have to say, was the one that just concluded because at 5 o'clock, Clock. They played 10 songs in a row, just about, I think, and we had a marvelous time with a very small group of MMR and Philadelphia Soul uh, listeners and fans, and so, uh, and we broadcast it live, and it was all around the country as well. So uh, hopefully you got to see or hear a portion of it, and uh, we conclude our coverage at this moment from the big joint, where I dance off into the sunset now. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? <laughs>